How to start a YouTube channel in 2023? Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets YouTube tutorial video. In this beginner's guide, we're going to be going over all the steps required to create a YouTube channel. So we'll start out by actually creating the channel, then we'll get into the YouTube studio, which is where you upload videos and customize your channel so it not only has channel art and a nice logo, but also a very nice layout that displays the videos you have on your channel, which will get you more views. After that, we'll dig into the settings of YouTube so that you ensure you have all the features available to you so you can be successful on YouTube. And then finally, we'll go over some of the tools that I use that I believe give me an advantage when I post videos to YouTube. And if you already know any of the steps in this video, feel free to skip ahead using the video chapters. So to get started with creating a YouTube channel, the first thing we need to do is simply go to youtube.com. And if you're not already signed in, go ahead and select sign in in the top right. And here you'll be prompted to either log into your current YouTube account but if you want to, you can go ahead and create a new account specifically for this YouTube channel. So if we select that, you'll have three options. One for yourself, which will be kind of a personal YouTube channel. One for your child, one that you can manage, make sure that everything's good there. And then the third option is to manage my business. So if you plan on making your YouTube channel a source of income or a business, I recommend choosing manage my business. This will give you more power in the future to enable managers or editors, anyone contributing to your channel, to get access to your channel in a safe way. And it also will allow you to transfer ownership in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and select to manage my business. So once you get here, you'll need to enter some information to create your YouTube account. And first we start out with our first and last name, but don't worry, this is not the actual name of your channel. We'll configure that later. So go ahead and enter your name, an email address, and you can create a brand new Gmail address if you want to, and then enter your password and select next and go through the process of creating your new Google account. Once you go through that process, you'll be brought to YouTube where you can start watching videos. But in order for us to create our YouTube channel, all we need to do is go up to the top right and select your little profile icon right up here, right next to the bell. And when we do that, we'll have some options here. And the first one is going to be create a channel. So go ahead and select that. And this is where we actually configure our YouTube channel name and its handle. Additionally, you can also upload a logo or a profile picture. If you don't already have one, don't worry, I'll be showing you how to do that later. And then when you enter your name, it'll go ahead and configure a handle for you that is available. So you can change this to whatever you want. This is the name that appears above comments, things like that on YouTube. So you want it to be close to your YouTube channel name. So once you're ready, go ahead and select create channel in the bottom right. And once we do that, we'll be brought to our new YouTube channel. And currently our channel looks a little bland. It doesn't have any channel art. It doesn't even have any videos. So now that we've created our YouTube channel, we need to go into the YouTube studio so that we can start uploading videos and customizing our YouTube channel. Now you can easily get there from anywhere on youtube.com by simply going up to your profile image up here in the top right and then selecting YouTube studio. So once we load the studio here, we're gonna be on the dashboard. And this just gives you a quick overview of your channel. It'll show your latest videos here and then some analytics such as your subscribers and views, things like that. And then any important notices from YouTube. Now, before we actually upload anything to YouTube, what I recommend doing is going into the settings down here in the left sidebar. And then once the settings open, select channel. So under here in basic info, you can configure which country of residence your channel will be. So I'm just gonna go down and select the United States because that's where I'm located. But then the most important thing in here, we need to go to feature eligibility. So this is where we can get access to different features on YouTube. So by default, you'll start out with some standard features, which allows you to upload videos and create different aspects of playlist on YouTube. But then if we go to the intermediate features here, as you can see, in order to get these features, we need to verify a phone number. And this includes uploading videos that are longer than 15 minutes live streaming, and also uploading custom thumbnails, which is very important for getting views. So what I recommend doing is going through the steps of verifying your phone number here by selecting verify phone number. And then all you need to do is enter your country and then your phone number and get code. And then you'll have a text message sent to your phone. And then you just need to enter the code. Once you do that, you'll come back here and you'll have the intermediate features. There also are advanced features but these require not only a phone number, they either require two months of posting to YouTube or you can submit a valid ID to get these features. So that's up to you if you wanna go through the steps, but you can just have your channel for two months and then you'll be able to do that. So now that we've hopefully gone through the steps of enabling at least the intermediate features on our channel, the next thing I recommend doing before uploading any content is actually customizing your channel 
to add channel art and a logo, things like that. And we do that by going in the left sidebar right here, scrolling down and selecting customization. And once we get to customization, go ahead and select branding right here. And this is where we can first upload a logo and then our banner image that's at the top of our YouTube channel. And if you don't already have any of these designs, don't worry. It's actually really easy to do with a free tool called Canva. And check the description. I'll have a link down there, which is a free trial to their paid version of Canva. It's very powerful and it's what I use to make all of my thumbnails and channel art. But their free plan is actually very powerful as well. And you can create your logos, thumbnails, and channel art with that very easily. So go to canva.com or use the link in the description and create your account. Once we're in our Canva account, it's really easy to start creating your YouTube channel logo and your channel banner by just going up into the search bar right here and just search YouTube. From there under templates, you should see YouTube banner and YouTube channel logo. So we'll start out with the channel logo by selecting that. And then as you can see here, they have tons of pre-built logos that you can customize to fit your brand. So go through this list of templates and you can just select one that you find attractive for your brand on YouTube. I'm just going to select this first one right here as an example. Then once you get here, simply select customize this template and then we can start adding our YouTube channel name to this right here. From here, we can select the different items on this template and change them to be whatever we want. So we can change the text here. We can change the color as well. So you can play with this template and make your YouTube logo look however you want it to. Once you're ready to download your logo, simply go up to share and then select download right here. Now I recommend with the file type to go ahead and make that a PNG rather than an MP4 and then select download. And we can save that image. And when we go back to channel customization here, all we need to do is under picture, select upload, find the image we just made, open it up. And then as you can see here, we can crop it and fit it, but because we used Canva's template, it should fit perfectly and then select done. So as you can see, we have our new logo uploaded. Now to create a banner image, all we need to do is go back to canva.com and from the main page of Canva, just go up to the search, search YouTube, and then we can select YouTube banner. And now we'll see tons of different banner templates that we can use on our channel. And some of these, like this one, will match the logo that we already used. So you can go ahead, find a banner that you find attractive for your brand, select it, and then customize this template. From here, we can change anything we want to, just like we did with our logo, remove things, change the text, change the color. One thing about YouTube channel banners is they need to have a lot of open space around them because they're displayed on several different formats, including TVs, in the browser, and on the phone. So most of the content will be located in the center, and that's for good reason. So now that we've finished editing and creating our YouTube banner, all we need to do is go up into share, select download, make sure it's a PNG, and then select download again. We can then save that file to our computer. And we go back to our YouTube studio under banner image, select upload, and then select the banner you just created on Canva. So as you can see here, it's gonna show you what I just told you about. The main area of our banner will be viewable on all devices, but then the extra area will be available on different things such as TV or desktop. So once you've made sure that the crop fixed correctly, go ahead and select done. And then there you go, we now have a logo and a banner image. To quickly save this, all we need to do is select publish. And then once it's saved, when we select view channel, we now see our new YouTube channel with a logo and a banner. And now we'll go over some things such as customizing the layout of your YouTube channel so that it looks like mine where you're showing off your YouTube videos that you've created so that you get more views and also how to fix your name if you misspelled something or add links to your YouTube channel. So go back to YouTube Studio and then under Customization, first we'll go to Layout and this is where you can add sections to your actual channel. So I like to add a popular video section. We can then change the order of these by just dragging these two bars and moving it up to the top if we want to. In addition to that, you can also add sections for specific playlist to show off your subscribers on YouTube and then also feature other channels on YouTube. So you just would select that, give it a name, and then just search the channel that you want to feature on your YouTube channel, give it a check, and you can add several channels here and then select done. Additionally, at the top here, you can add a channel trailer if you want. And this is just a video that hopefully persuades people to watch your videos and subscribe to your channel. If you already have one of those, you can add it by simply adding 
add and then upload it. But don't worry, this is not something that you need to have on day one. The most important thing is having actual videos. So once you're ready with your layout and any channel trailers you uploaded, select publish. And then when we select view channel, we can see the featured channels that we just added and any videos we upload will be added here as well. So now that we've edited the layout of our channel, we can go over to basic info. And this is where you can first change the name of your YouTube channel if you misspelled something or you wanna change it. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Then we can add a description of our channel. And this is important for a couple of reasons. It helps people figure out what our channel is about. And it also helps our channel show up in search, both on YouTube and in search engines. So I definitely recommend adding a description to your channel. Now that we've added our description, we can scroll down and real quick, you'll have your channel URL. So if you want to share it to anybody, you can copy this and share it or link to it on social media. And then we have the ability to add some links to our YouTube channel. And we can add up to five links. If you have any links you want to add, maybe a website, an Instagram page or TikTok channel, something like that, you can go ahead and select add link, come up with a title for the link, and then you can enter the URL of your link. Finally, at the bottom, we have contact info, and this is where you can add a business contact email for your YouTube channel. So if you want potential sponsors or subscribers to be able to contact you, you can enter an email address here. And because this is a public facing email, I recommend using something unique or at least different from the email address you use to log into your YouTube channel. That'll just give you a little bit more peace of mind and security around your YouTube channel. So once you've added your description, links, and any contact information you want on your channel, go ahead and select publish. And then when we select view channel here and go to the about section, we can see the link we just added up here on our channel banner right here. The link's also under our about section, our description, and then anyone that wants to see our public facing email address can get it by selecting this link right here. So now our YouTube channel is basically ready to have videos uploaded to it. To start uploading, all we need to do from anywhere on YouTube or in the YouTube studio is go up into the top right next to the bell and select this little create camera button right here. From there, just select upload video and this is where you upload shorts or videos. It'll then take us to the YouTube studio where we can go to select files. We can then find and upload the video that we wanna to upload to YouTube, either a short or a long form video. So I'll just do a random video here. And as you can see, our video is being uploaded in the bottom. So while it's uploading, we can edit different details about the video by changing the title of the video and adding a description. And both of these are extremely important for people to be able to discover and find your video either in search or for suggestions on YouTube. So make sure you do a really good job there. Then we can upload a custom thumbnail if we've enabled the intermediate features on our channel. And keep in mind, if you go to Canva and you search YouTube thumbnails, they also have tons of thumbnail templates that you can use to get very vibrant and good looking thumbnails on your channel right off the bat. So you can go through the same way we customize the logos, you can use that for your thumbnails as well. Then you can add your video to a playlist, determine if your video is made for kids or not. Then under here, under show more, we can mark if our video includes paid promotion, if someone paid you to make the video. You can add tags and this can help with SEO. And then you can add other information about your video if you want to, but there's no requirement for any of this. And keep in mind while you're doing this, anything you edit will be saved automatically as private. So don't worry, it's not gonna post to YouTube publicly until you want it to. So once you've edited the detail page, you can go over to video elements. And this is where you can add an end screen and add cards to your video. And this is where you would typically link to other videos. So we won't really be able to add much to these until we have more videos on our actual channel. As you can see now, our video has been uploaded and it's now being processed. This may take some time now that it's actually checking our video, it's checking it for copyright, things like that. And you can see the progress of that under checks. It'll let you know what it's doing. It's checking for copyrights. Once it's gone through the checks and we've edited the details and video elements for our YouTube video, we just need to go over to visibility. And this is where we can actually post it to the public or schedule it to be posted in a future date. So if we wanna post it so that it's viewable anywhere on YouTube, select public, or we can select schedule, which will post it publicly at a future date. So go through that process and then you can publish your first video. So now that we've created our YouTube channel, we've customized it so it looks good. And then we've also uploaded our first YouTube video. I wanna tell you about a tool that I use on a daily basis when posting to my YouTube channel. And I do think that it has really helped me grow over the years. And that tool is called TubeBuddy. And check the description, I'll have a direct link down there. And that link will also give you a free trial on TubeBuddy so you can try their paid versions 
for free before actually having to give them any money. And it's free to install if you don't want to go through the trial, so don't worry about that. But basically what it does is it adds a lot of features. It'll help you with topic and keyword research when coming up with ideas or titles for your videos. So if I go back to YouTube here and I just search anything on YouTube, as you can see, it's going to add a search explorer option to YouTube that gives me information about the volume of this search, the competition, any related searches. So if I want to come up with a title there or see what people are searching related to this topic, and then also video tags used in this topic. Additionally, you can go up here, select the TubeBuddy icon on YouTube, and you can go directly into their keyword explorer. You can type anything you want. And this will give you that same information here whenever you want it. You, additionally, you could see the results for that, and it'll show you where your videos rank when compared to other videos in the rankings. Some of the other things I like about TubeBuddy is when I'm going through the process of uploading and creating a video on YouTube, within the actual editor here for details, though if I scroll down, I can go to tags, and they give me all these different suggestions for different tags that I can use on my video. So this makes it really easy to research and add tags, and I also find these tag recommendations to be useful for coming up with SEO in my title and my description. Another feature I like of TubeBuddy is it gives you the ability to come up with pre-made comments. So I can just select this and I can select your welcome and then it will go ahead and write out the comment for me. And all I have to do is select reply and heart it. And that comment has been sent to that person automatically. And at first that may not be a problem for you, but it's something to think about going forward. And if you'd like to learn more about how I use TubeBuddy and why I think you should be using it, Check the description because I'll have a tutorial going over that as well. All right, so that's how you start a YouTube channel in 2023. Hopefully now you have a YouTube channel set up with nice branding and you started uploading your first videos. If you have any questions about creating a YouTube channel, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more YouTube tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.